Okay, so I've got a rather special unboxing today, and this is a dual unboxing of the GeForce GTX 980 SC from EVGA. So we'll get on with unboxing one of them. We'll unbox both of them because they're going to be used in SLI setup. Plastic off. It's the front of the unit, back onto the box side. It's on the bottom. As you can see, it's compatible with NVIDIA Shield, which is pretty cool. And the other bit. And then on the back of the box, we've got all the spec sheets. Okay, so we'll just break the seal and get the bits out. Seals are very well stuck on, which is good because it means that it's quite obviously no one been tampering with the package. But equally well, if you pull them slowly, they do come off nicely without ripping everything. And there's EVGA's little notice. The only problems with that card is you just send it straight back to EVGA. Okay. So inside we get the EVGA poster, which comes with all their graphics cards. It's quite a large one. And you also get EVGA stickers. Next up we have a little notice about the power supplies that you can get. And back of that document. You also get the graphics card reference manuals, so user guides and that, which is in multiple languages. And there's also a little addendum about the power connections, and again in multiple languages. Um, how to connect the SLI bridges, which is one thing that's going to be happening with these cards. How you can have it in three-way or two-way SLI. This obviously will be a two-way SLI build because there's two cards. Then we got the DVI to VGA adapter. Why they keep on putting these in, I don't know. Because not many people use VGA these days. Uh, we've got a looks like a driver CD. Yes, display driver installation disc. I always just go and get the direct from NVIDIA ones because they're always the latest build. In fact, I've got NVIDIA's software for automatically getting that latest build. We've got a Molex 4 pin to 6 pin. Uh, PCI graphics power adapter um, and it's individually braid woven so it looks quite nice. Now uh, what else have we got? And we've got another one in the same. 
And we have a little case badge. It actually looks like it's a metal case badge, which is actually quite rare, so that's quite nice. And there's the card itself. As you can see, it is the reference design, which means it has the NVIDIA designed heatsink structure. And just lift it out. So you can see the fan there, and you've got the heat sinks inside that chamber there. A bit more heat sink and air intake there. You've got the power connections there, six pin. And on the back you have a plate for reinforcement of the card, which is quite good. And there you go, covered by a nice little cover plate is the SLI connection port on the top. And so that's one of them. And as I say, we have another unit here. Because these are going to be running SLI. So I won't bore you by taking you through the unboxing of this one, but I will show you them side by side. So I'm going to pause the video now and we'll cut some side by side. Okay, so here are the two cards side by side. And what I have here is a little three-way SLI bridge that came with the motherboard that I have in my system. <clears throat> and even though we've only got two cards here, um, a three-way SLI bridge is perfectly fine to use and can actually look a bit neater than the standard SLI cables, so just ribbon cables that go between the cards. So this is what we're going to be using. Also, I noticed that in the first part of the video, I have not given a clear view of the side of the box, so... So now we'll, I'll show you how you install the SLI bridge. Obviously you do this once the cards are actually in the system, but for the sake of, of demonstration I'm going to do it out of the system. So these are the two cards. And what you do is you insert them into the PCI Express slots like so. And then you would take these covers here off. And then you would take the SLI bridge. And it doesn't matter which way around you put it. I tend to put it the same way as the text and then you would introduce it onto the cards like so obviously if you had another one in the middle you could do that as well and then you push it down like that and that SLI links the two cards and also actually acts as a little bit of bracing not much though so you wouldn't like risk any weight on it So that's the two cards, and next shot I'll show you will be a handheld shot, so sorry for the shaking on it, but it'll be of the inside of the system once the cards are installed. Okay, so here are the cards in situ in the case, and as you can see here is the SLI bridge. 
card one and card two. Uh, something that is well worth remembering is to make sure you don't tighten these screws up here and here, or maybe even four if you have them. Don't tighten those up until you've put the SLI bridge in, because you may need to move the cards fractionally one way or the other to get the bridge to line up exactly. And then at this end you have the six pin connectors. Each card needs two. Uh, the way this power supply works is it has eight pin connectors but you can split two off the sides. So that concludes this video and catch you next time.